Hello guys, this is Arnold Widget here, and I'm back on another one. Um, and so I just wanted to talk to you today about divine ossification and what that is. But before I do, I just want to make sure you guys, if you haven't already, to make sure you go to enlightennetworker.net forward slash 60 day disconnect because that that uh, four part video series, you know, really helped a lot of people. Um, you know, hack into their divinity, and that should be something that you, you know, that should be something you should just check out. So make sure you go to enlightennetworker.net forward slash 60 day disconnect. And I think I said that right the first time, but I'm not sure if I did or not. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you today about the whole ascension process because divine ossification is just something I made up as far as you going from human being to divine being and you know, just another word for that. You know, there's many definitions for ascension. And so I just wanted to share that with you today. Now, I did I did I did a couple blog posts in my my recent on my on my website and a couple of videos with that on the topics of, you know, secrets to ascendant masters. And I just wanted to do this one just to break down like the symptoms um, chakras, your human body field, and also more about abilities and other things about um, low magic, high magic, just to break down um, a couple more things. Um, but really, I'm talking about divine ossification and how you get from human being to divine being just a little bit more. It's some things that you need to be aware of. And so, the last thing I, I, I came off with, like I, I left you guys with the whole thing of 10 steps to master ascension. And, you know, the last step was really you disconnecting yourself from, you know, who you used to be, which is the most difficult steps, step to ascension. But there's a lot of things that are going on during this ascension process Um and one of those things is I haven't talked about was DNA activation. Now, DNA activation is just your DNA is actually evolving into a higher strand of enlightened DNA or, you know, higher sense of self type of genetic imprint on your on yourself. And this this is something that's going to activate those DNA strands that you didn't really know exist with inside you. So you can evolve into a higher being, and this, this, but but during this, this DNA, you're going to have certain symptoms that will be, you know, looked upon as like you're just you're just like a regular cold or a regular fever or maybe you're having a regular headache, and really these are not going to be just regular symptoms. Um, they may feel like regular symptoms you're having like headaches and you know ringing in the ears and things like that but these are part of the ascension process because your DNA is evolving to a different type of uh, is, is evolving into a different type of strand of DNA higher sense of DNA so I just want you to be aware of that because you, I know there's some people out there saying that they have any symptoms and you know they think that they're sick and then they try to figure out why they're good within the next 24 hours like I even had these symptoms myself where I just had it's real like a little slight migraine and then the next day I'm fine like I'm, I'm pretty aware of what's going on with me but I know a lot of people out there don't know what's going on with them and so I just want to make you aware that when you're going through this ascension process you're going to be experiencing certain symptoms that you know, you really can't explain. And it may seem like they're regular symptoms, but they're not. And so I'm not going to name all the symptoms because it's going to be different for everybody. Every, again, everybody's going to have a different, a different type of awakening and they're going to have different types of symptoms. And so I don't necessarily agree with all the symptoms that are out there. I feel like people are going to have, I feel like people are going to have similar symptoms, but I think that there's going to be symptoms out there that people haven't really mentioned. Now, another thing about the symptoms, ascension, uh, ascension process, DNA activation, all that, 
that we need to understand our human body field. And what I mean by human body field, I'm talking about our, you know, our aura. You know, I know so many people have heard of our aura or our seven chakras. Now, what does that have to play with our, what does that have to play with our um, ascension process? What does that have to do with the whole process? Like, I know a lot of people who do yoga, they, they, they focus on these seven chakras, which are these seven energy centers. Um, and these, these seven energy centers, um, they're either blocked with energy or they actually are flourishing with, you know, with a lot of energy. And they have a lot of energy within these seven chakras. Now, one thing you can focus on is these chakras. But the way to focus on that is to understanding your, your aura. And this is like the atmosphere of your chakras. And there's more chakras within your aura field. I think there's 12. But there's more auras within that field where you can actually heal yourself and others. And that's how you actually get into these um, blocks and everything else in these um, self-limiting beliefs. Those areas right there are other blockages that you can actually use in this ascension process to help heal yourself from these symptoms that you're having that way they're not most frequent and different types of methods to, to use for that it's more you know you probably heard of the emotional freedom technique where you're tapping on your key meridian points so you can actually um you know it's kind of like acupuncture but you're just tapping on yourself so you can release any toxins or blockages that you may have this is a good way for you to increase your frequency and the ascension process and also um, of course you know meditation different different types of meditation techniques out there that you can use to um, clear your chakras or your you know inner blockages whatever you know you know maybe um, you know stopping you from reaching this ascension process and you know there's a lot of things out there when I when it comes to ascension where I just think that's what's spreading the whole confusion about what ascension really is and and how to actually get there as soon as you can. But the thing is, I want to just mention that you're not going to get to you're not going to you're not going to get to a certain point in ascension if you're not first off eating the right foods like. Me, I, I've been a vegetarian for a year now. Um, I know that I really don't like to eat cheese or anything like that, or dairy. Like I'm, I know that being a vegan is is is, is uh, something that you can do, but I know it's difficult for a lot of people to do. But for me, I know there's sometimes where I slept slipped up and ate some cheese or something like that. But you know, the real main thing is is that when you're trying to reach a higher set of consciousness you need to eat foods that have a you know um, like fruits that have fruits vegetables things that have a, a good energy to them it's not and stop eating all this processed junk that you know they they tell us that we should eat or we can't eat that's another thing that's very important and another thing is your attitude and your again this goes with your your mindset, your perception about things, or getting angry and coming from a place of um, a place of negativity, those are those are different things you need to focus on too when you're going through ascension process. Because in ascension process, your emotions are all out of whack. You need to be in control of that. But if you're not coming from a place of love and practicing um, behaviors of you know you being a divine person and doing your light work practices like you should be doing. You're not going to have any. You're not going to reach any of these uh, ascension symptoms or process. And I know a lot of people are like, "Well, I don't want to do it anyway." But, but if you do, if you're somebody that really wants to reach, you know, a certain part of ascension, the basic things you need to understand is that you still need to be have gratitude and um, learn that we're all one, and under, understand that you need to eat better and clean food. Um, these just those basic things that you need to understand, so you can actually 
again, increase your vibration because really that's what you're doing when you're reaching ascension, you're reaching a vibration of energy so you can reach a higher state of consciousness. Consciousness, But um, I don't know, it's just a lot of people believe that they're already surpassed so far in the ascension process. And people got to understand that this is, the ascension is a never-ending process. This is going to continue to go on until um, you reach a certain level. Like, there's always more to learn with your spirituality and, and being a divine being. And, you know, I watched, say I watched uh, Dr. Strange the other night, and I thought that was a good, I thought that was a good movie. It really explained about, you know, how we can, you know, regenerate ourselves and heal ourselves. And and it also taught, it kind of put in, you know, a little bit of emphasis on high magic, a little bit, and low magic. Um, you know, and I think that as far as the, learning how to control your energy or your chi, which is the life force, um, that is whole, that's part of the, the whole ascension process as well because you're going to become more in tune with your energy or your frequency and you can actually learn how to, how you should be able to either defend yourself from other beings or other, or other uh, entities. I think that this is, that is one process that will, well, you really know definitely that you're on a different type of level of ascendant mastery if you want to reach that certain level of higher consciousness. But um, I really think that's something that just comes with the bargain of actually helping serve others and protecting other people. But you don't have to necessarily perform high magic or anything like that. But that's just a different that's a different aspect of being an ascendant master. But um, I don't know. And a lot of people, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else I could tell you about being an ascendant master or, or just coming from a place of just ascending to a higher state of consciousness. It's really is just that once you become, you know, at that point, once you get to that point, you're going to have certain abilities. And so it's only more likely that you're even going to use these abilities for good or you're going to use these abilities for bad. I don't know. That's going to be completely up to you, but... I really don't believe that you'll be a person that's going to use these your abilities for um, maybe bad or evil, or whatever. Because at that point, you know, it's you have to understand your ego and getting up that process. So it's kind of like, you know, if you're just going back to your ego and you're already ascended, then what's going to happen? You know, are you going to lose everything? Or your your energy is going to go down. Of course, your energy is going to go down to a low vibration. And then, you know, you're going to start, you're going to attract different types of beings and other, you know, galactic beings, whatever that is, if you are at that point. And so, I don't know, I just wanted to share this, this, neck, this, uh, this information with you about, you know, just the whole process of the ascension and divine notification of, you know, transcending yourself into a higher state of consciousness and and ascending mastery. But I hope I hope you guys um, tune in on the next one. You know, I'm really trying, still experimenting with this um, podcasting um, platform. <laughs> still not really, the, you know, the best at it. But I think that this is something I'm about to start doing every Monday. And so I just hope make sure that you just make sure that you tune in. Because I'm just talk about different types of uh, different types of uh, you know topics around divinity, spirituality, abundance, and um, I hope you guys take care. And I'll talk to you later.